Rick Shaw here this morning. It's uh, the 18th of December, 2020. Hope you don't mind, I got my microphone here a little bit close today because uh, we've got a heck of a rain shower going on. And I'm hoping you're able to hear this good. I can't sit out front where I usually do because of the, uh, you know, the rain's just splashing in there all the way up to the washing machine. So I don't, don't want to get soaked this morning. But uh, watch the watch the thing on there about the CAA not releasing their report on uh, on the troubles going on with China. They're they're not releasing it by the deadline date. <laughs> You know, pretty crazy. I put some stuff on MeWe about that. And also, I had a, a pretty good uh, thing my buddy Mike sent me about the Vax. Uh, you can take a look at that. That's on MeWe, too. Those are my last two I put up. Uh, pretty good pretty good watch and a pretty good read. Uh, I don't want to put too much on here, so they, I don't want to take my channel down. But it's over there at MeWe, so you can take a look at it there, guys. Uh, also, I saw a good one from... Uh, my concho loved that loved that stun gun man i would i would love to have that for the dogs here it was perfect it's got the it's got the flashlight so you don't step in the poo poo <laughs> and then it's got the zapper so if they decide to get too close uh, i think just the popping sound would chase them away I'm serious that that sounded pretty nasty but uh most of them haven't been bugging me too much we had we had one uh, stray in here uh, that I, I clobbered. He was getting too close and growling. Uh, he growled at my youngest one and uh, I nailed him good. He wasn't, I guess he just didn't want him close, but I don't want him growling at my boy. Sorry. Uh, he wants to growl at my boy, then he's going to get what's coming. So I clobbered him good. Now he gives us a real wide berth. Uh, when we went walking the other morning, he, he went way out, and then when he was coming up my street, I stood up and he turned around and went the other way. So, But nobody owns it, that one. He's all full of mange. He's sickly. He's eating. He's dumping all the garbage cans around here, and nobody's doing much about it. Uh, I'm afraid to go, and I'd love to be able to go around and just shoot them all, to be honest with you. I, I'm just so sick of, sick of all the dog crap and the garbage being turned over. Uh, it's just a mess. I went out the other morning with it with a scooper and just cleaned up a whole bunch of dog pies Just so my kids don't step in them our regular guy who does that here. I don't know if he was sick or what but uh, You know, it's, it's just it's just a little bit to me. It's kind of ridiculous how that goes. Sorry I keep going on about the dogs, but you know, they're they are a real problem here. They just nobody seems to care for their Dog, it's not like in the US where it's, it's your friend or your you know your buddy here, they're just a, a noisemaker. Uh, nobody ever tells them to shut up. My walks in the morning are miserable. Uh, this is no kidding, I wear earplugs. I have earplugs that I wear uh, when I go on my walks. That's how bad it is, because the echoes between the houses. So, really strange, but I want you guys to check out that MeWe. Uh, that, that is really a uh, super good articles on that, especially about the vaccine. Uh, that, that one was really good. But uh, we're still just chilling out here before the uh, before Christmas. Uh, don't take your eye off the sight of you know what this is. This this season is for us as Christians. Uh, you know, love your neighbor. <laughs> you know, they tell you to turn the other cheek when they when they get bad. I, I since I started this channel, I run into some folks that I truly believe that their their brain has been sizzled and there's no redeeming someone but that's not up to us the good lord can redeem anybody <laughs> you know look what he did with the apostles someone so uh kind of shocking but the good lord can do anything but yeah i didn't get out for my walk this morning this rain is just a little bit too much uh even with the umbrella i had the umbrella out and i was just getting soaked from the waist down because the wind's changing. We got winds that'll blow it in my back, it'll blow it in my front, and I just, I just didn't feel like getting wet. And I don't have any kind of rain suit or anything, otherwise I'd be out walking. But I, sometimes I just don't like to get wet, don't like to get my feet wet, but that's just a quirk that I have. But the kids were up a little bit earlier. Um, both of the boys were up, wanted to walk, but not in the rain. You know, they'd be having me carry them. <laughs> my back's been so sore. Uh, the last week and then the stomach problems been been a mess for me last couple of days don't know don't know what the heck is uh driving this stomach thing uh, but 
that's just one of the things you got to deal with. But there ain't much going on. I'm just sitting in my kitchen. I'm actually getting leaked on. Uh, water's dripping down on me here. Uh, getting ready to make make a nice breakfast for us. We got to get. Uh, I don't know. We might have steak and eggs this morning. We got some nice steaks in there, and the kids the kids really like them. So, you know, I, I did see a, a video from one of the bloggers saying they couldn't get meat here, but uh, good meat they said. Now I know SNR you can get the New Zealand beef, which is which is all um, non non cord. It's gra grass fed, non corn fed, and you don't want to feed a cow corn. That's just terrible for them. But uh, We've been getting some really good beef. I know it's Filipino raised, but they're, they're not giving them corn either. You know, corn's too, too valuable to give to a cow. So they just let them eat the grass, the sawgrass, whatever the heck they eat. But uh, we've been getting some pretty damn good steaks. Not too fatty. Uh, they taste great. You know, I don't have the, the broiler going yet. I got that new stove with a good broiler, but, but uh, we're not going to light that thing off until we get to the new house. Only reason I bought that stuff now is you, when you go to Abbotson's, you can get a you can get a discount. You buy a few things, you can you can get them down in money. You gotta haggle with them. They'll cry and piss and moan and everything, but don't leave. Just keep keep haggle. Oh come on, you know you can get down to here. And uh, I gave them, you give them a ridiculously low amount. Uh, my one uh, the fellow that bought the Piaggio, a uh, fellow Mark. Uh, he said he went in there, he had a bunch of, you know, he had a big TV, he had the real nice fridge, he had a nice stove. He said when he went and bought it all, it was 270000 uh, and he offered him 200 and haggled with him and got it for that. So they'll, they'll bargain. It, I guess it depends on, just like car sales, you know, you can bargain with car sales. I bought a truck one time, it was... Uh, Seventeen thousand nine hundred was the was the price, and I got it for uh, thirteen even. Just haggling with them, and I would have got it for less, but uh, my partner uh, just started bitching and complaining. Let's go! She was getting fed up with the process, and I could have got it for less, probably twelve. But uh, that's just the way that went. It's it's bad when you got a partner that's against you. It's it's not. It's definitely a definitely a bad thing, but. But uh, this is rickshaw just sitting in my little uh, kitchen area, uh, my little kitchen area over there, I'm hanging pots. I got a lot of my pots I, I got boxed up already, and I got a really nice uh, new box of pots. I was talking about that SR. I got them over here at the uh, S&M through Walter Mart. It's the exact same pot set, and it was so much cheaper over at S&M than, than it was at the S&R, which is the Costco here. Um, so you be wary when you're buying at S and M. They're they're kind of expensive. My wife was grabbing our regular foods, and I'm showing her. Look at the price. <laughs> Look at that. Don't buy that. Even the tuna fish was real high, you know. But they did have the other brands of tuna fish, you know. But we we just eat century tuna fish if we're going to eat tuna fish. There's no sense in paying the extra money for something coming from from the U S. What for? You're just paying for shipping. It, who knows, it was probably processed on the same boat. <laughs> Just a different label on the can, so I don't worry about brand names myself. But I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go this morning. And I uh, uh, hope that this is not too loud with all this rain going on. Uh, it's good to clean it up. Hopefully it washes the poo-poo away. <laughs> I don't know. I was out a little bit this morning with the umbrella, and it piles all over again. And the dogs are... They're like hiding under bushes and stuff right now and under cars. Well, that, uh, that cut off, that's these new batteries I got. They don't, uh, they don't last worth a damn. Uh, this didn't even get through one single video and it was three bubbles when I started. So be careful what you buy from uh, these overseas Chinese places. You're not going to get that great of a deal. But this is Rick Show out. Don't forget to pray for each other. And uh, I hope everybody is able to visit family and friends and old folks and all that. I hope this uh, lockdown doesn't restrict people too much. So God bless you all. This week's show out.